Hey everyone, today I'm changing out a uh, window regulator out of a Chevy Astro van. Now this one's a 2000 model. Now the door panel was pretty easy to take off. There was just a couple bolts here and there and it came off pretty easily. But I left the, uh, you know, the, the switch panel uh, on there. It just popped out with some clips and ran it through. Now whenever you get to the window regulator, it is riveted in from the factory. So you're going to have to cut out the uh, four rivets. Um, that hold it in and then after you cut those out you'll let the window regulator down and disconnect the, uh, the wiring harness that's connected to it now this one doesn't look like it's connected anywhere there so it's probably up in there after I get it down then I'll look for it now the easiest thing to do for one of these is to move the whole regulator once it gets loose and slide it back and forth because you have these rails underneath here there's not really any bolts to unbolt it. I know a lot of times the construct instructions say to unbolt the uh, the window, but it's just easiest if you hold the window up into place up here, and then with your other hand, take the regulator and just slide it all the way off until you get it off the end of the rails. Once you have that off the rails, um, then you can slide it the opposite way and it'll come off the rail right here. So once you slide that back and forth, get it off the rail, then you can move the whole window regulator out of the hole right here and then just reverse process putting it in. I'm gonna end up just ribbing it back in um, with some rivets the way it was from the factory. But it's not really that hard of a process to do. You just uh, take your time and you'll be able to accomplish it. So I've already got one of those rivets out and I'm gonna work on getting another rivet out. So whenever I'm taking out these rivets, I usually punch the center in, and then that way it gives me a good solid surface to use a drill bit to, to drill out the rest of the rivet. Now you don't want to punch that in with the glass up, so if your glass is up, you need to either roll it down or push it down, do whatever you can to get it, the window away from it. On these lower ones right here, the window will be in the up position there you do them. On these upper ones, um, the window will be in the down position. So you can see the window is in the down position right here. And I'm going to go ahead and take a center punch and punch those through. I'm going to show you how I take the punch with this one. Get the punch in the center, take your hammer. And there you can see how the center is gone. Now you can take your drill and you got a nice surface to drill on it. That's how you take the rivet out. So right here you can see where I've allowed the window to drop down after I got the rivets out. And down here you can see the window regulator. You want to uh, just hold the window and slide the regulator to the side. And you can see over here where it just slides out of the railing. Once you slide it out of the railing, you'll need to uh, do the same for the opposite side, which I've already did. Then you'll need to slide the railing off from that's back behind the door. There's a rail that's attached to the back side of the door right here. And once you get that regulator slid off, then you'll be able to wiggle this out, slide the regulator out of the window. Once you get it out to this point, you'll be able to get a hold of the electrical that's back here and pull the uh, I know it's kind of hard to see, but right here, I was able to disconnect the electrical plug, get it off there, and pull the regulator on out of the door. Now you just start putting the new regulator back in. Now on the new regulator, I'm going to go ahead and connect the power so that I can guide that up through there as I'm putting the window back in. Sometimes I have to mark it plugs are tough to get on, but you just need to squeeze it on there. So once you get that plug on there, then just go ahead and put your window regulator back into there, lift up your window, and start aligning. You'll just need to take your time to get all those rollers into the rails, and then once you get back up in here and you get the motor close to where it was, I'm going to go ahead and install rivets like this using a rivet gun pneumatic one and put it all back together
Now it definitely would help if you had a friend hold up the window, but if you don't, it is possible to do it by yourself. Just get it up there close to in place. I'm gonna go ahead and place one of these rivets. So once you get one side riveted in, and I would just go to the um, opposite side and get one in on the bottom. That way you know that everything is centered up. So for whatever reason, you might run into an issue like this where the uh, rivet size on the bottom, for some reason on the new part, is smaller. So I'm going to have to drill out the holes. The rivet goes through one side, it won't go through the other. And uh, I didn't have that problem on that top hole there. Plus, uh, it doesn't really line up too great. So I'm having to try to line it up and uh, the rivet won't go in there at all. So I'm going to have to drill it out just slightly. Okay, so now that I've got the hole drilled out a little bit for it to go in there, now I'm going to get that straight. Go ahead and rivet it in using the air riveter. Make sure that you put your hand back behind the door panel to push forward or towards the inside on the regulator. And just lure it in just like that. Then go ahead and get everything, get the other rivets in. Again, make sure the back side, you know, you put your hand through right here, make sure that the back side of the, the new regulator is pushed up against the back of the door. So once you get the regulator in, the new one, then go ahead and operate it to make sure that everything is working properly and that it doesn't bind up anywhere. And then uh, the electrical plug on the new one actually has an extension, so I'm gonna be putting it on the inside and probably zip tie it to the panel right here. That way it doesn't interfere with the window rolling up on the, the inside. Go ahead and just zip tie it right there and should be fine. So once you get the window regulator in and you got everything riveted, just check over everything, make sure that it's working properly, and then go ahead and reassemble the door the way that you took it apart. But other than that, that's how you replace your window regulator on your Astro Van. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button for me, like it, share it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.